Hello, another pacifist video today, episode 21, actually, I believe. I am just getting on after maintenance. Yeah, I'm a day late. Um, it is what it is. We're going to collect all this junk because I actually have a value pack as long for the next three days because of the event um, from before the login stuff. This right here. Cool. 199 plus 456. So <clears throat> we got a few Leave your bits of silver there. Whoops. So leave your wares a good old doodle. Um, warehouse. Let's dump you in there. Dump you. You can stay. What are you? Mercenaries of life. You're the 50 one, right? Yeah. Yeah. What were we doing? Oh, yeah. We got about 38 more percent to go, and then we can do a quest. So, I'm going to go over here to the trade manager and dump all these fish that I have. Hit the blacksmith and repair some stuff, and I want to talk about a couple things. So rather than just reply to the comments that I'm going to talk about, um, I want to address it here. Uh, so these comments, uh, specifically, uh, Mr. The Redays says hello i got inspired by you to start a pacifist also uh new to bdo haven't watched the full series yet but could you tell me the major differences for this account build for seasonal versus normal character thanks uh so i could reply to this in the comment and i'll probably reply um letting you know that it's in this video I'll just tell you to watch whatever episode this is uh 21 i believe yeah 20 is right there so also, for the pro tip thing, I know I can use mouse to gather, uh, click to move, but I don't want to change it because I'm recording. Uh, I don't want to have to swap settings back and forth and stuff because I record both accounts when I'm playing on the same PC and I have a, a secondary PC that I set up for AFK stuff. I just don't want to change the settings around because I I don't like uh, mouse to move. Um so that's why I do, but thanks for the, the tip. I do know that, um, you can do mouse to move and, and mouse together. All right. So now that that's out of the way, as far as pacifist stuff goes, if you're new to BDO, I don't recommend playing this way. Honestly, um, black desert has so much to offer and by removing yourself from combat, you're, um, you're going to miss out on so much. Never can remember where my damn farms are. You're going to miss out on so much. Uh, I recommend playing the normal way. Now, as far as pacifist goes, um, if you, if you really are going down that road, the, don't get me wrong. It's fun. Uh, but if, if I, didn't have another account, a main account that I was uh, actively playing on. It would get annoying very quickly. Um, so I'm gonna have to get more uh, more thingies out. So the thing with the the pacifist deal is, my rule set is that I can't actively kill monsters uh yeah I accidentally killed one and then to, the tutorial forces you to kill 33 exactly and i had to do the tutorial twice because i deleted the first character um i explained that in other other videos um so there's that just just to to give you an idea um Keep that in mind, but my rule set is as, as far as a um, let's go get a oh. 
right, this is what we need. No, it's not it's seafood. Yeah, that's it. So, sorry, I am uh, doing too many things at once. Got it. All right, so uh, the rule set that I put in place for myself is that I can't kill any any monsters at all. Uh, so that very, very, very limits what I can do. It removes a bunch of the, the gathering um, skills, so I can't do um, basically blood collecting, fluid collecting on animals. I can't do tanning. I can't do butchering because those all require you killing monsters. So it limits my... Um, Life skill stuff, I also can't do hunting. Uh, it makes cooking harder. And as far as life skills go, that that's pretty well it. Um, of course, some of the processing recipes you can't do without just buying stuff off the central market. Um, other than, than that, the only thing that really limits is the monster killing itself. And where that becomes a thing versus uh, normal character versus seasonal. Obviously, you want to do seasonal if you can. But most of the seasonal pass stuff is locked behind main story quests slash killing monsters. So there's no way to finish it because you have to kill like 2,000 monsters. Um, now, you could get in a, in a party and have somebody do that for you. Now, if you're not doing strict rules like like I'm doing, I, I didn't feel like that was fair to the um, air quote challenge. Uh, so I'm not allowing that. And that's why I went with normal versus seasonal. Obviously, seasonal, if you can if you if you're okay with partying with someone and having them kill the monsters for you, the uh, monster kill count doesn't increase when someone in your party kills stuff. It's only when you personally kill stuff. So, so there's that. Um, so take that as you will. The uh, Wherever you go, I will go. depending on how you look at things, it, it could make it easier or viable. Uh, it's also why I didn't do the um, Gathering 101 quest to get the um, Tree Ants tier. It gives me 30% life because you have to butcher weasels to get weasel meat, which requires you to kill them. Otherwise, you have to get in a party and have someone kill them for you. Uh, it's the same with like the ship stuff. You're, you're new to BDO, so you may not... Um, some of this stuff may gloss over you. You won't know what I'm talking about. But like ship upgrade materials require monster ooze. So that you can upgrade your uh, boat, your Bartali sailboat, into the near next tiers from like Bartali to a Furious sailboat up to a Caravel. You're going to need sea monster ooze and the only way you can get that is by killing sea monsters. So the only way I could do that is to party with somebody and have them kill it. But the, for the sake of the challenge it feels kind of scummy. Um, I didn't want it to be an anything goes challenge. Yes, you, there are ways to get around the rules. I'm not sure that I would consider that fair for uh, this particular challenge. Now, if I was doing it on my own and I wasn't being very strict and being a stickler about it, I would probably use an anything goes type of uh, scenario and just get my wife to party party me and then just have her run through killing a bunch of stuff uh, to get what I needed to finish what I needed so seasonal would be more viable um, if you're going to be strict like I am and follow the exact same rule set it makes normal characters impossible or the only viable option it makes seasonal characters impossible to play uh, because you'll never be able to finish the season pass and you'll be essentially stuck as a seasonal forever um it's also why I didn't allow power leveling, and I ended up leveling through gathering an AFK uh, dummy training and AFK fishing um, during events. Speaking of, we got a 1,000% combat XP event and a drop rate event. But if you're doing a strict pacifist run like this, you're going to have to do a normal character, and I recommend a shy because of... 
these passives right here. You get a boatload more experience while gathering. Yeah, I know it says one percent. I wait. Didn't they tank these recently? Yeah, they did, didn't they? No, they didn't. Um, so, if you're doing a passive challenge, a shy is almost uh, required. You get a little bit extra alchemy and gathering experience, but while you're doing those, the combat XP you get is 300% more. Um, if you look there, and same uh, with uh, alchemy, 300% more. So, gathering is basically going to be your, your go-to. Um, if you're trying to level, you need an artifact. Like I have here, uh, you can get 300%. Plus, so it's 400%, and then uh, the, the next thing would be a crystal set. I don't have one on because I don't have the crystals. But they're, they're like Kydex crystals, um, if I remember correctly. If that's the right name. If not, somebody else in the comment can correct me. But that is... Sorry, I was scratching my foot. Sounded kind of funny there. But that's the gist of it. Um, other characters work as well. It's just Shy has a little bit more of an advantage. And they start out at Professional 1 Gathering and Alchemy. Uh, whenever I made this. I can't remember if, if uh, Pearl Abyss changed that. I think it still starts out. I think they still start out at Professional 1. They just changed a little bit how it... Um, takes effect because of the base level tools or whatever it's called so I hope that answers your question as far as the differences um, again I will reiterate that if you if it's your first time playing black desert you probably want to play the normal way run through main quest on a character that you find fun to play and then um, maybe try and push for gear I don't know what you like to do in the game if you just like to kill stuff then just run around and kill stuff uh, the thing about Black Desert is it's a sandbox you don't actually have to do anything or, or, or everything um, as you can see by this challenge I'm level 60 and I'm playing the game just fine and I have done zero this is the beginning main story quest the first one you get as soon as you're out of the tutorial I have not done it I haven't done any of them uh, that being said the if you're a brand new player first time playing uh, and not doing some kind of crazy challenge like this uh, the main story quests are, are they're mediocre as far as like content goes. I mean, if you like that sort of thing, great. But they do unlock a lot of crap. Uh, and there's a lot of other quests that give you rewards, like they all under the suggested tab. That if you um, hover over them, it will give you the requirements. But a lot of it forces you, like this one, uh, at least gathering level five. Complete Balanos, Boss, Red Nose, that's one of the main story quests. So a lot of this stuff is locked. Uh, same with like the Black Star quest. I don't know if they've recently changed that, maybe. But later on, you're going to want Black Star weapons. Um, if it's your main account and you're actively playing to like reach in game and that kind of stuff. You can get those without doing the quest, but if you want to actually like build your own stuff... Um, Doing the, the quest is going to be locked behind main story quest. So being a pacifist run where you can't kill any monsters. You're basically locked into just making as much silver as you can. Any way you can without making your monster kill count increase. Um, here. And then buying it off the marketplace. Unless your marketplace restricting yourself. But you can buy pretty much anything off the marketplace. You can get all the the best in-game gear it's just gonna take you billions and billions of silver like you're gonna need like 28 billion silver 29 billion silver just for a pair of gloves versus building them yourself I mean the the price works out about the same either way um, but again it won't have your family name on it if you're into that sort of thing um, so there there's some things to consider 
it's not like it's anything set or dire. Um, but that's kind of a long-winded explanation, and I hope it hits all the points that you're looking for. Now, for me, I got about six more. I hit the Q key. Six more percent. And I can actually start playing the game again. Um, where was it that I was... Here's some trees. I'll, I'll do this one. <sighs> Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was an herb. I saw it. Sorry if I sound a little, um... Up, I guess you could... <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, a little out of breath or whatever. Uh, I got a rapid heart rate right now. I've had enough caffeine to probably make a horse fly. <laughs> Uh, slept about four hours last night, um, between no sleep and, uh, ADHD hitting hard in the mornings. And if you got ADHD bad, you know what I mean? Like it, the caffeine is, is saving my life right now, but it does give me a little bit of a, a crazy boost sometimes. So usually it makes me tired. So, so like caffeine will mellow me out and I get really calm. But if I hit a certain amount of it all at once, It'll like, uh, yeah, the rapid heart rate, you know, bad side effects, uh, breathing kind of fast, that kind of stuff kind of sets in, but, uh, we'll be fine. Cool. Artisan gather. Fantastic. Screw the rest of the buffs. I don't care. Let's go find my horse. I gotta be in the right frame of mind here to um, to get this done today. So, <laughs> what I mean by that is I switch back and forth between uh, the Zard account and uh, and this one. Yeah, the Wizard account. Now let me get. We got that. And where are you at? Let's go to the storage keeper and dump this crap. <coughs> all right so i'm not very happy with pearl abyss right now the changes that they have made and this doesn't really well it does let me talk about this um so first off again uh read days i hope it answered your question and welcome welcome to the channel um since you said you're kind of new to Black Desert. Appreciate all of you that uh, watch my stuff avidly. We're going to be cleaning out my storage again. Now, back to what I was griping about. So, Pearl Abyss has made a boatload of changes recently. Uh, well... Just give me a little bit ago for like maintenance stuff um, changing classes and things well it, it in evasion and DR you know all that stuff all right. um, let me get this and I'll finish talking about that money 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 blah, blah, blah. trade item Gee, green thumb this is what we need let's go talk to this little guy all right uh, yeah, so evasion and DR has changed. That means my in-game gear build of full evasion for the shy is probably not going to make us survive as much as I had hoped. Uh, and one of my goals was to survive Red Battlefield and not die and actually win a match without being a complete chicken and just like sitting in the back. So we may have to resort to cowardice ways. Ever heard of the Chorong Lantern? Ever heard of the... Let's go gather some Maywaz. Uh, so the DR evasion change and accuracy change and stuff, that's, um, that may be a problem for us in the future, but for now we're forging on. The other thing is I'm a little mad because it seems like every time I start to get where I'm going with my wizard, it becomes a problem. All right, so they want us to gather Maywall. What is this? Are these the trees? Yes. Uh, the they've changed all the hit. What? Give me what I need, you sons of. 
There we go. There's four. Four out of fifty. Four out of fifty. Four fifty. Uh, yeah. The the hit changes are gonna be something to get used to. My succession wizard is down bad right now. Uh, the other thing is gonna be where they removed all the 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 damage based on HP, and I haven't even logged on there yet. I'm kind of scared to. Because if I log on there and it's too bad, I'm, I'm going to just want to turn the game right back off and just say I'm, I'm done with this crap. Uh, and this is coming off the back of having a really bad day yesterday. As far as Black Desert is concerned. And being on here just for the 10, uh, well, I guess 20 minutes now that I haven't, I haven't even really done much. Other than run back and forth. I'm getting weeds and I don't like it. Let's, uh, here you go. That satisfy it? There you go. I wasn't gonna leave that if <laughs> you make people mad. The, the OCD kicking in. Um, the, the 20 minutes that I've been on here, my hands are already on fire. Um, so I'm gonna have to pivot. I think, uh, I don't have carpal tunnel syndrome, it's not like, oh, you need surgery bad, it's, it's severe tendonitis, and it runs from my elbow all the way through my fingertips, and, um, numbness, and just aching and pain, it's really bad, and so, I tried to grind on the wizard yesterday, and it didn't go well. I did an hour, and then I wanted to just die right there on the spot. Um, and I wanted to spend time with the wife, so I played some Fortnite with her. And I was basically ignoring the, the pain all afternoon. And I started out okay playing it. And then, as the day went on, I just started sucking worse and worse and worse at the game. And by the time it was it was done, I just it really didn't feel good at all. It, it was it was a bad thing. So, being that I've reached a point on the wizard that I'm basically on a devil grind, and that's where I'm at. Why do we just keep getting... Give me something besides weeds, you little... No, nope, that's a pine tree. Uh, I'm down to the devil grind and a little bit of enhancing left. I'm gonna have to pivot. Uh, either that or, or like the content thing... Uh, my voice, all this, is gonna go away because the hands just aren't gonna take it so Friday I'm going to try some other things I started this channel to be an all-around channel anyway and I'm not taking a step back from black desert by any means but I when I first started the channel I wasn't just a I'm gonna be the top tier in-game gear character you know I did a variety of all kinds of stuff, so I'm gonna go back to doing that. I think I'm gonna pivot. Well, I have to pivot. I don't. I don't have a choice. Let's see if I can get any of these respawned up here before I move on to the other spot. That's a pine tree. I don't want that. Don't you take me back down. Okay. So. It's either I drop everything. Or I uh, keep making Black Desert content. Which I want to do. I like Black Desert. But I'm going to have to pivot. So I'm going to focus on life skilling on the wizard for a while. Uh, I'll grind when I can. Instead of just pushing through. Because it, it's. It's a problem. Um. I tried Awakening Wizard, it didn't really help much. 
the APMs are lower, but it's still just, I was pulling same or, or lower trash loot than succession. So it just, it didn't really matter. Um, and I could try a different class to where I hold down a couple of buttons or something, and that might help. Or it might not, but I really like the wizard. I don't want to play anything else. Where is this thing taking me? What? No. Take me back over there, and I want to gather the Maywa. What the hell is wrong with you? But that also means Manos enhancing and 2000 mastery, um, like just trying my best to hit 2000 mastery. Oh, come on. Are you not going to respawn? Am I really going to have to go visit the other spot? Is that how this works? So the, my, my idea is give my hands a bit of a rest. Continue to make, um, are there some down here that I can visit? There is a tree right here. I only need a little bit more. And I'll kind of address this in, uh, Friday's video if I get it recorded before the weekend. Um. My schedule is Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, but it's kind of a loose schedule because my wife's schedule is all over the place. It's not like a set schedule. It should be like two days on, two days off, three days on, two or three days off, and it kind of rotates around. So it's it's not, um, I either have to record ahead of time or just wait until I have a day off. And when she's off, I don't want to like, I want to spend time with her, you know, um, so the videos kind of fluctuate a little bit. Oh, come on. Give us the Maywa. But the Manos enhancing will be fun. Fun being a, a relative term, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be fun or not, but... Um, We'll see how that goes. It could be good or bad. But I want to try and uh, delve into what kind of life skills make the best silver per hour. Um, it'll, it'll also help this series out, which is why I mention it here. Because if I'm delving into the best life skills for silver... Alright, we'll get this chest while I'm back here. Which, I just did all the Takebi chest on the wizard, and I'm not doing that on here. Unless I absolutely need the DP. Come on. Oh, it won't let me gather that one. Sad times. Well, let me get this one. Yeah. Alright, we need five more. Let's go find a tree. There's a red one over there. Already got that one. But I can kind of have some serious cohesion at this point if I start diving into the best life skills to make silver with on uh, my wizard. It'll give my hands a break. It'll give me um, some gameplay variety and different things to put up uh, on the channel for you all as well as just uh, my sanity. We're missing one. I gotta find another. There's a tree over here. I ran out of stamina. Now the skill is on cooldown. <clears throat> I shouldn't have left my horse. I forgot. Now I'm going to have to run all the way back over there. That's alright. And uh, I hope to find that there are some passive style 
uh, life skills. Like if you, if you, so you can touch all the life skills and not have a single problem, right? You can make decent silver at whatever you do. It's not about being most efficient. But I want to dive down and min-max this shit. And basically say, okay, I'm going to get 2,000 mastery in cooking, which is pretty freaking easy, honestly. Uh, 2,000 mastery in processing. Um, fishing mastery really doesn't matter that much. Uh, but maybe, maybe even then, uh, hunting 2000 mastery, you know, and really push these life skills because 2000 is like the cutoff. Yeah. You can get guru 100 now, but after guru 50, you really don't get any benefits. And, um, up to that point, you know, it, it's usually about mastery anyway, after like 700 or you start hitting 12, 13, 14, 1600. 18 on up and then you're once you hit 2000 anything over 2000 is overkill because 2000 is kind of the cutoff for like mastery benefits right it's like the last bracket that you get like big benefits out of so everybody wants to hit 2000 and then see how much silver you can make well if i'm diving into that on both channels uh it's going to give me a break as far as the hands go because it's spamming R or clicking on things to gather or sniper hunting or you know butchering fluid collecting whatever whatever have you or the semi AFK cooking and processing and alchemy um, trading the farming the bartering all this stuff doesn't take APMs like mob grinding you're not gonna make as much silver quickly uh like silver per hour you're not going to make as much even at 2000 mastery as you would if you just went and killed monsters per hour but some people just can't do that i saw that kebby chest down there and i'm not going back i'm not sorry uh but you know for like semi afk it, it's like silver per hour versus effort per hour right and some of us are just built to where we can grind 12, 16 hours a day uh, to make progress. Buy whatever you need because you got boatloads of silver. And some of us can't. And some of us don't enjoy playing the game that way either. Like, if I just have to sit here, I, I get antsy, man. After an hour, I just want to freaking move, you know? Like, crawling out of my skin. Now, if I'm sitting there passively doing something, like, I can sit there and cook for 12 hours straight and zone out, watch some watch some other content creators put a movie on or something or um, minimize the game and go play something else while I'm doing it. I think it's here for 12, 13 hours straight easy. However, that's very different than having 4 million APMs in the course of 13 hours, you know. Uh, and my tendons are just not happy. I don't know if I damaged my tendons from all the heavy weightlifting that I did when I was younger. Or, or what um, I miss it I don't I haven't been weightlifting in, in quite a while but but uh, the tendonitis is it's a problem so I don't know maybe maybe that was part of it but but it's definitely a hindrance and rather than just say I can't or cry about it I'm gonna find a way around it like I do everything else just like with this challenge like okay I can't kill monsters I'll find a way around it but but uh, one of my goals on my wizard was to, like, max out all of my skills to Guru. And I have a ton of characters on that account that I just don't use. So I think what, what would be cool is to just kind of start utilizing all of them. And I have a 630 energy pool on there. And I grinded all that energy out. I might as well be using it, right? And uh, it's going to benefit this series because I'm going to find out easier ways to make silver without mob grinding. And my time is better spent than uh, crying about my, my tendonitis and saying I can't. Uh, and it's been a real hindrance. Like, I haven't... I've hinted at it for you all, but I haven't really said much about it. It's why I don't sit there and do grind streams 
and stuff is because I, ju I just physically literally can't. Uh, I'll do an hour and then, then I'm done. But um, it's been a struggle and it has halted my gear progress because I'm to the point where I there's items I need that I have to put hours of grinding in to get and I, I physically can't do it. Um, so I don't know yet what I'm going to do. To remedy that, maybe Prolibus will add other options in the future to get certain things. Um, or maybe I can snipe some off the market as far as like Deborekas go. But um, we're going to figure it out. I always do. You know, I, I can talk about... Working out, weightlifting, being strong, and all that, but but your brain is still the strongest of, of all your muscles. And if um, use it, is what I'm trying to say. It's what sets us apart from all the other creatures on the earth. Okay, now this is where I need the point to click thing, right? But. Um, I don't care. I'm going to run around until I find them. <laughs> also, um, while I'm thinking about it, we still haven't gotten any um, forest crystals yet, which is sad. I need them. Come on, reeds. So the way I did this before is I had uh, pets. I did this uh, quest on my wizard and I had pets that would do like resource detection and that's how I found reeds. Now we're just gonna run around because I don't feel like changing the setting for point mouse movement, point um, together. And it won't take that long. So Gallon Plateau, we're going to go up there too and talk to these guys over here while I'm here. Gallon Plateau is where you gather reeds at, um, I need to remember that. I've kind of touched on all kinds of crap today. Who knows? Watch it. Let me know if your class got destroyed in the patches. Um, Pearl Abyss decided they were going to reduce the number of hits that skills do. And subsequently increase damage. But uh, what I was complaining about earlier, my, my uh, wizard, they removed the, the dam extra damage on certain skills based on HP. And I haven't logged on there to look at what that means yet, but I'm kind of afraid to. Um, plus, changing the accuracy and DR stuff around, I don't know what's going to happen in terms of game balance. Uh, PvP may just be even more dead than it already is, you know. Um, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Fifty-five out of a hundred. I wanted to get part of this quest done. I happened to uh, hit Artisan over the course of three videos. It was kind of painful, but I wanted to do it on camera. I didn't want to. I didn't want to just do it off game and cut it out or edit it out like a lot of people do. I like everything to be organically recorded and just almost like a offline live stream. Just hit the hit. Hit the red record button and see what happens. If I mess up, it stays in. Oh, there's one. Now, if I seem delirious in some of my videos moving forward, send help. <laughs> uh... It's been like 90 degrees Fahrenheit here with high humidity. 
every day for like ever. Uh, it, it's getting really bad. Um, but I have to brave the heat because there's work that has to be done outside and uh, it's not gonna wait. So if I end up like stroking out from the heat and become delirious in my next couple of videos, that's why. We're gonna see how many hours I can I can stand it. I was not built for for hot weather. Uh, I'm one of those people that cold weather doesn't really affect me too much. I can put on a layer or two of clothes and just be as happy as can be. That's why fall time is my favorite time of year. But but this summer heat of 90 to 100 Fahrenheit or even higher um, some days with high humidity and no shade whatsoever. It, I can't do it. It induces migraines. Uh, and then I'm one of those people that has a very high sweat rate. So I can why I always was so good at, at weightlifting the intensity um, my body its metabolism immediately just kicks in and my body temperature goes up and it, the the metabolic rate is just super high and I, I sweat really bad and then I get dehydrated very quickly I and it doesn't matter how much like water or Gatorade that I carry around and drink I could drink I can't drink fast enough my stomach gets full I can't drink it fast enough to and to replace it which I wonder if that's something to do with just some random random uh, subjects if anyone cares if not then uh, just ignore me background noise while we're doing a quest but I run a degree cooler. Most people, you know, I guess the normal is like 98.6. I run at like 97.5 or 97.7. In between there. It's the weirdest thing. It's probably why the, the heat affects me <laughs> as badly as it does. Alright, wild berries, we're coming for you. That's not a berry, that's an herb. Quit being stupid. What do I need? Viola? Why is it telling me that there's berries here? Are they here? There you are. Can't hide from me. Speaking of berries, so on our farm here, and I've, uh, for anybody new, kind of sit back and enjoy the story. For anybody, you probably heard. Some of this before in my other videos, I, I tend to touch on it here and there. Um, I have a farm. It's what we do um, when I'm not doing this and when I'm not um, doing other uh, stuff on the computer. We actually have a farm. <laughs> and where was I going with this? The wild berries. So my grandma here on the farm, she has... She's been here six, 46 years, long time. She has a mulberry tree, if anybody knows what those are. Um, she has a mulberry tree and they, um, they're very good. <laughs> this mulberry tree produces like no other. Uh, spent a lot of time up there Oh, that's sky blue flower. Wild berry, wild berry. Are these the right freaking things? I don't think they are, right? No. Where's the violas? But we have mulberries, um, elderberries, if you know what those are, and blackberries. So here in, like, I need to go check them. But here in like uh, like mid-July is when they start getting ripe around here. 
Okay, now I feel dumb. Where are the vial is at? They told me to come here, and I don't see vial is. I guess this is all for wild berries. What if I go back up this way? Where are you at, Viola? These are all wild berries. I feel stupid. Is this them? Are you them? No. 100% <laughs> no. We got violet flowers and wild berries, but no violas. What? What is going on here? The other one's over there, but I'm not seeing what we're supposed to be seeing here. What was that? Yeah, that's not the right thing either. So that would mean that, like, in here somewhere, there's supposed to be violas, right? Wild herbs, wild berries. Am I just having a dumb dumb moment? I think I caught a case of the dumbs and I didn't realize it. Okay, little shy, come on. Get your little legs going. Sky blue flower. If there's something that I'm blatantly missing, I, I apologize. It's um, one of those days, I think. Sky blue flower, wild berry. Wild herb, wild berry. I see no other location on this map. Is that them right there? Did I just solve my own problem? No. I saw somebody on the map. More wild berries. More sky blue flowers. These look like what I'm supposed to be getting. Are the violas down in this cave down here? Have I been just being retarded? Alright, I should have ended this off before I made myself look stupid, but I'm pretty sure that I figured it out. I It's been a long time since I've done this. And I'm guessing... Uh... Okay, you're a gopher now. Bye. Horse, quit messing around. Get yourself out of the ground. Hell is the matter with you. This is one of those moments where... Yeah, I was supposed to go in the cave. <sighs> well, so much for... I'm, I'm not gonna read the comments on this one. I'm, I'm scared to, I don't want to. I 
don't want to. I don't want to see him. I don't want to hear it. Wherever you go, How many of you guys have sore foreheads from forehead to the desk? Because of being stupid. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get. You a Kaffir stone. Free silver. You see that blue column over there? That's another Kevy chest. Violet dream, I don't want that. Give me the violas. Give them to me. Weeds. I don't want weeds. I don't want bracken either. I want the violas. Sixteen. One more. There you are. Boom. Alright. Let's go get this chest so people can stop having a conniption. Are you happy now? Back on the horse. Alright, I'll turn this in and then end it off. Uh, and then set up fishing. Again. I'll finish the, the quest next time. We're just dragging this quest out really because... It's all about gathering right now, but uh, the thing about it is we're waiting on forest crystals, and I can't go sniper hunting to make that process faster, so I'm literally stuck in Land of Morning Light until I get forest crystals for life XP or life mastery. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's where we're at. But I hope you guys enjoy all of your changes that Pearlibus has graced us with. If not, riot in Heidel streets, that's what I say. I hope the Heidel ball brings good news. It's on the 22nd. So we'll see what that does for us. Hopefully they release something good because there's a lot of civil unrest as far as uh, as far as the game goes. There's some of the top creators are, are very unhappy. And I know that the no war changes cause some kind of protest over on other regions from NA. Um, but I guess we'll find out what happens uh, in a few days. So... I hope your week's going okay. I appreciate all of you. Uh, welcome to the newcomers, new subs. Hopefully you put me on your third monitor and just zone out to my voice like most people do. That's what we go for here. Mediocrity at its finest. We're not the best. We just sit back and relax and chill. I quit dragging it out. I'm on my way back to Moodle. And you guys, good luck with whatever you're doing. I'll see you in the next one, as always. Until next time.